it's a dragon guys i'm loving those red scaly cells the different shapes and size is just remarkable i'm loving it guys check out today's video you're gonna love it hello everyone it's camille welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today i will be doing another pearl cell powder pour technique and i'll be using deco art paint um satin as you can see the red is satin um that brown is espresso the silver is a metallic and i'm using the craft smart white um premium satin so i'm using two satin um in today's pour and i think it helps to create the different sizes um you know it affects the way the cells come out in today's pour because you guys know that satin paint is also very very good in creating cells right so do check out today's video um it's another fun experiment i'm always experimenting because you know what guys it's an experiment for me because it tends to change i'm still trying to get with the program here <laughs> so do bear with me there i was just showing you the consistency of my paint it's not thin it does look thin but when it pours back into the cup it leaves a mount but it quickly disappears it's not a mount on a mount right so i um i do hope you guys you know get a hang of the the one-to-one -one approximate ratio whenever you're mixing uh just add the color first and then don't pour all your pouring medium all at once into the cup with the color just mix as you go and then you will see okay because some um, i know i said one to one but the ratio that the, the pour medium that i use is very liquidy it's not thick like the american flow troll so you know just add the the pour medium to your paint and then mix slowly you will get the, the consistency that you want you do not want the paint too thin all right guys so i promise i will do a, a mixing video in the future so you guys have to stay tuned and of course you know yeah for you not to miss that video make sure that you hit the bell um if you're gonna subscribe hit that bell so that you're notified each time i post a new video and of course you know what guys Give this video a thumbs up if you do like it the black paint guys is um the soft body acrylic by artist love that i'll be pouring over the colors it's not a selectivator well based on my knowledge it's not a selectivator what happens is i how i mix my paint well the white the black that i'm gonna pour over i mix it a bit thinner you know everybody does theirs different you guys can go ahead and check out the white from the white pores i think i'll you know what guys i'm just gonna go ahead and list his channel name in my description box because you know what the white inspire me uh he used different colors when i just started out with uh pearl cells i would use the extreme sheen paint because it creates such beautiful um, um cells pearl cells and my theory was that it's because of the sheen and the metallics and all that and you know you're pouring that black artist stuff over the sheen paint it create the cells and make the cells pop through the matte black right that's my theory <laughs> you guys can correct me uh so when i saw the white using other colors i i i was so intrigued i had to comment i'm like i did not know that you could use other colors and he used different paint brands guys and so i tried his um his ratio and i think it was one part paint to like three parts uh flow troll he does add a little bit of uh um the liquid export medium he also add water to thin but when i do it with my paints that i use oh my gosh it comes out so wonky and you know i plus i don't have the flow troll i use my liquid my milky it's more milky um um paint conditioner the wagnick paint conditioner that i have it's you know so it's different and i the cells would just come out really wonky and you know so i adjusted my ingredients i adjusted the ratio and i i'm happy with the result that i'm getting so 
and also there is a uh, tara from tara artistry i watch her videos as well she creates some beautiful cells i want to give her a shout out trust me guys she is such a great inspiration and um yeah so if you guys want to go ahead and check them out see how they mix their paint all that you know everybody does their stuff differently you know you have to find what works for you i do want you guys to have fun while doing it and i do want you to practice and don't get disheartened if it doesn't work out for you at first try or your 10th try <laughs> i have been trying and trying and i'm okay with this i'm happy with the result that i get and i really wanted to share it with you guys that's why i am here that's why i created this youtube channel to inspire people to get up and just be happy with what you create okay so there it is guys i poured the black and the cells are popping through and i'm loving it and you know what guys i chose these colors okay because valentine's day is around the corner <laughs> so i was just going with the red and white and the silver theme and man what i got i thought i was gonna get some be well it's beautiful but i thought it was gonna be like okay not a dragon eye but i end up with a dragon eye and she's beautiful and i do hope you guys just check out the video all the way to the end because this is my first emblemishment as well and i just it was just beautiful a beautiful experience so do check the video out all the way to the end guys you know i want to share something with you guys you know what you know what else is around the corner my birthday my birthday is january 30th it's going to be this sunday so yeah my birthday is coming up guys and my channel is a year old it's actually a year old on the 13th of, of january this year um one year old and i am just so happy to be able to you know use youtube as a platform to you know share my experience my experiment and all of that growing with you guys my journey to sharing with you all of that and i'm really appreciative and i'm really really loving all of you guys thank you for the great comments thank you for you know giving me the, the thumbs up the support all that guys thank you so much i really really do appreciate it i want to mention too guys that my torch failed on me so you didn't see me torching today's video because my torch failed and i yeah i've just waited for the cells to develop on their own i tilted you know back and forth just to have the cells moving it helps too if you do that and of course you know waiting over time the colors will brighten it will come up it will come out the torch just helped to bring it out a bit faster so there you have it you know what guys i'm just cleaning up the edges uh this portion of the video was sped up times eight so didn't want to make the video too long while the cells are popping through all right so i'm just cleaning up guys stay tuned for the close-up of the wet results just around the corner Here it is, a close-up of the wet result. The colors, really, they're shining, they're popping through, they're just beautiful, they're bold. And I do love how, you know, the red cells pop through the white and the white in the, in the red, it's just so different in some areas. I do love how I get some shades of pink and, you know, the bright red in the middle, it was just amazing. And I do love it. It's just, just beautiful, guys. I'm speechless. Isn't this beautiful, guys? Let me know what you have to say about this one in the comment section below. Go ahead. Leave a comment. Leave your thoughts. I'm loving the silver lining, how it's lining the cells. I did lost a lot of my gold mixed with the espresso. But you can see some, you know, popping through some areas. It's creating some nice um, effects. It's beautiful, guys. After seeing the, what it looks like with the dragon eye in the middle, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to physically draw the eye in myself, you know, outline the eyes a lot more 
in this painting so here i am just i'm using vermilion red it's like a mixture of red and orange and i really want the eye to pop so i'm using a different shade of red here then i'm just um, highlighting that with um, some paints gray by artist loft and uh, just to make the colors really pop some more and yeah this is actually my first time doing this on a um, a poor painting after it's dry my first time really doing an emblemishment uh, so I'm open to hear what you guys have to say about it because for me I am loving it I'm really happy with the result I just um yeah I'm, I'm hoping that I can do some more in the future so do let me know guys what you think about it and of course if you would like to see me do more yeah just go ahead leave your comment in the comment section my favorite thing about this painting is you know the close-up the, the close-up of, of the painting right now and you can see the details of the cells how it looks like a scale right and this is just amazing and i'm talking about the different size of the cell giving you that lizard look the dragon scale look iguana whatever it is that you guys see but it's just beautiful and that's why i'm just so in love with the fluid art because you never know what you're gonna get when you pour it's a surprise you know it's abstract art and it's it's a surprise and i'm just loving it every day i do a pour and um the result is just amazing you know sometimes you're happy with it sometimes you're like oh my gosh but sometimes guys just put it down walk away come back a week or two look at it again you might see something beautiful in your painting don't just throw it away or scrape it or whatever just keep it for a while come back look at it you might be surprised yeah guys i didn't white to this i really does help the eye to pop and i chose these colors just to go with the fact that I'm, i've already used the red and white and silver in the scales well i'm calling it scales now not cells <laughs> so that's one of the reason why i did the eyes like that also i'm just using the vermilion red to you know brighten some of the paler pink areas around the eyes just to bring some life into the painting and you know just add some more details that's all i'm doing and thank you guys for you know sticking around and you know checking out me doing this unblemishment it was fun really really fun i'm so in love with it Alrighty, here it is all dried and hanging on the wall there is no finish on it there's no varnish no resin but guys check out the colors yes it's beautiful and that eye really is staring at you it stands out so well i should have mentioned that this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas and i decided to hang the canvas this way vertical but you know what guys it's beautiful and i'm really happy with it let me know what you guys think about this one of course go ahead and check out my playlist and i will see you guys next time on camila moy art bye